In this figure, we have a semicircle and an inscribed square whose area is 36 square units. We need to find the area of the smaller square. There are multiple ways of solving this problem, and in this video we will explore one of them. If the area of this square is 36 square units, then each side is equal to 6 units. Then down here, half of a side is 3 units and another half another 3 units. Now, if we connect these two points, we will get a right triangle, whose hypotenuse is also the radius of this circle. And because in this right triangle, this side is 6 units and this one is 3 units, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Let's use letter R to represent the hypotenuse because this is also the radius of this circle. Then according to the Pythagorean theorem, R squared equals 6 squared plus 3 squared. 6 squared is 36, 3 squared is 9, then 36 plus 9 is 45. To find R, we will take square root of 45. Now to simplify square root of 45, we will write 45 as a product of 9 and 5. Then here square root of 9 is 3, then r equals 3 square root of 5. So we found r and now let's talk about this smaller square. To find the area, we need to know one side of this square and for now let's say that this side is x. So we can write that the bottom side is x and the left side is also x. Now we will connect these two points to form another right triangle. In this right triangle, one side is x, the other side is x plus 3, and the hypotenuse is again the radius of the circle and we just found that this is 3 square root of 5. Then according to the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus x plus 3 squared equals 3 square root of 5 squared. Let's write this equation down and we will solve it for x. So x squared plus x plus 3 squared equals 3 square root of 5 squared. Now here, to raise x plus 3 to the second power, we can use the formula for the square of a binomial or we can just use FOIL. If we use FOIL, then we can write x plus 3 to the second power as x plus 3 times another x plus 3. Then x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 3 is 9. Then if we combine together 3x and another 3x, then we will have x squared plus 6x plus 9. So now let's rewrite the left side as x squared plus x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now on the right side we have a product that we have to raise to the second power and for this first we will raise 3 to the second power which makes 9 then square root of 5 to the second power which will make 5. And that is because when we raise square root of 5 to the second power we multiply square root of 5 by another square root of 5. Then we can rewrite this product as square root of 5 times 5 which makes square root of 25 and square root of 25 is 5. So then on the right side we have 9 times 5. In the next step I will add together x squared and another x squared. Then I will have 2x squared plus 6x plus 9. And now on the right side 9 times 5 is 45 and I will subtract it to the left, so now on the left side I will have minus 45. So then after 9 we will write minus 45 and now on the right side we will have 0. Then 9 minus 45 is negative 36 and we will have 2x squared 
plus 6x minus 36 equals 0. So as you see, we have a quadratic equation here, and one way of solving it is moving all the terms to one side and then trying factoring. And before we try factoring, notice that we can simplify this equation by dividing each of these terms by 2. Then the simplified equation will be x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0. From here, we will factor the left side. And because we have a trinomial, the factorization will be a product of two binomials. In each of these binomials, the first term will be x. And now we need to find two numbers whose sum equals 3 and the product is negative 18. These numbers are 6 and negative 3 because 6 minus 3 is 3 and 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Now we have a product of x plus 6 and x minus 3 and this product equals 0. This means that x plus 6 can be equal to 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. If we solve the first equation then x equals negative 6 and if we solve the second equation then x equals positive 3. Now recall that x represents the side of a square, so x cannot be a negative number. Therefore, this solution is not needed. Then the only solution we have for x is x equals 3. Now once we know that x equals 3, we can find the area of this square by multiplying 3 by 3. And 3 times 3 equals 9 square units. So we found the area of the smaller square and now the problem is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.